everyone, it's me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living here in the UK for the last seven years. And one thing that's always surprised me just a little bit is British people really love trains. Why? As a Canadian, you don't see that in Canada. And really, you don't see it in America either. So I've done some digging. I have come up with a few ideas of why British people love trains. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. But without further ado, let's go. First up, we have childhood. Now, I have a theory that if trains were part of your childhood, there's a good likelihood that you like trains as an adult. Hands up. Did anyone watch Thomas the Tank Engine as a child? Now I did a little bit of a Google. <laughs> um, Thomas the Tank Engine, I'm sure everybody knows who that is, even if you didn't watch it. I didn't realize, okay, so that moon-faced train person thing, um, is way older than I thought it was. So Thomas is from the British Railway series of books by William and Christopher Audrey. Is that how you say that? Also, father and son. How adorable. These were published in 1945. I had no idea. And then of course, Thomas went on to TV shows and movies, some of which are still ongoing. One of my theories is that if you grew up along this weird looking train, bless him, he is a bit weird looking. If you grew up alongside Thomas, I think there's a pretty good chance that you might be interested in trains as an adult. Now, if you didn't watch Thomas, maybe you remember trains just in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe your parents took you on a train or your grandparents, or maybe you saw a steam train as a child. And that memory has really stuck with you. As a kid, you likely, as a British person, would have seen these massive, impressive looking machines. We often look back on childhood fondly, ignoring the bad bits, obviously, and nostalgia is a powerful feeling. Even if you had a lot of bad bits, nostalgia can be strong enough to overcome those. Trains can also symbolize, you know, an escape, an escape from modern day life, an escape from the hustle and bustle of life, and, and takes you back in time, you know, back to the good old days, back to days when life was easier and slower. Whether you grew up with Thomas or just reminiscing of younger days, I think childhood plays a huge role in people's love for trains. My next theory of why British people are obsessed with trains is history. And there's a lot here. Now it goes without saying that British history is so intertwined with trains. And that's really not something that I ever experienced in Ontario. Growing up, the closest train station, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour drive. <laughs> so it was very much out of sight, out of mind, hardly ever used the trains. It just wasn't part of my life. But here in the UK, I think for a lot of people, it's the opposite. Trains offer a glimpse into the past and allows you to experience history in a really tangible way. It's not something in a museum. It's not something that you have to travel to a big city to go to a museum to see it. Yes, train museums do exist, but trains are just, it's everyday life. It's right there, it's history. And they are such an important icon when it comes to British culture. It's also very important to remember that British engineers are the ones who gave us trains in the first place. Now, I've actually seen varying accounts of who invented the train, which is kind of surprising. And maybe any like historians or train enthusiasts, honestly, I'd love to know your thoughts because I didn't think it would be that difficult to figure out, does that make sense? Anyway, what I did read, whether this is true or not, I guess I'm gonna find out. The first railroad in Great Britain to use steam locomotives was Stockton and Darlington, guess what year? Opened in 1825. Now from what I read, this was primarily for like hauling materials, less so about people. But 1825, now what I also read, our first modern railroad, shout out to Liverpool and Manchester, guess what year? 1830. I still haven't been to Manchester or Liverpool. I know that's so bad. I promise I'm gonna go soon, I promise. Now, I thought this was pretty interesting as well. By 1870, Britain had about 13,000 
500 miles of railroad track. In 1914, we had about 20 thousand miles of railroad. Even though that first modern railway in Manchester and Liverpool was over 192 years ago, it's still part of history today. Trains are everywhere. They're just a part of British life. Do you commute to work on the train? Do you take the train to go visit friends or family? They are everywhere and they're a part of everyday life. Trains are not some like forgotten relic. <laughs> that you only see in a museum, they are still so intertwined with daily life. I know for me, I sold my car a couple of years ago now and I have been solely relying on public transport, primarily the train. And I have been able to live with getting around just by the train, which is absolutely unheard of in North America. Now, very similar to history, I think a reason that a lot of British people love trains is the engineering. These are massive machines and they're right there that you can interact with them. They're powerful, they can be loud, they come in all shapes and sizes, whether you're talking about like a steam locomotive or a high speed electric service or a beat up commuter train. There's just so much. So in terms of like the engineering aspects, the engineering history, there's a lot of history there, wow. <laughs> But the sheer fact that you have these powerful, massive machines that you can interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, they're not in a museum, they're not some like foreign country, you have to go travel to see them. They're not like, you know, like a supercar that you're never gonna interact with. These are everyday machines that you can see, touch, experience, and use. Another reason why I think British people are obsessed with trains, similar again to history, engineering, but quite simply, travel. And it's really like a way of life. Now, trains, I would say, are the backbone of the public transport here in the UK. Even if they don't always arrive on time, they are extremely important. In North America, you basically can't live without a car. The only way you could get around with public transport is in big cities. Um, but for most people, we live in towns. And if you don't have a car, you are honestly completely isolated. I have never lived in a home back in Ontario where you could easily walk to the shops or walk to a train station or honestly even easily walk to a bus stop. But here, like I said, I sold my car. I am not isolated. I can get around just as easily. No, I can't get every place. And no, sometimes I have to arrive at a place at a certain time or I can't get to a place by a certain time, but I can still get around. I am able to rely on public transport for my day-to-day -day life. I don't feel isolated. I don't feel cut off from the world. And really that's down to the trains. In this section, I would also say some people, in terms, of, in terms of travel, some people actually prefer train travel as the actual travel itself. That's kind of confusing, but what I mean is like, say you're going on holiday and you're going to some city in, you know, maybe you're going up to Edinburgh, beautiful city by the way. Rather than just flying and getting there, some people actually prefer train travel as part of the experience. So you're not just paying to travel by train, you know, to get to the destination, but it's actually about the journey itself. And another reason why I think British people are obsessed with trains, because they're cool. Why are humans obsessed with anything, right? Why? Football, sports cars, gardening, video games. Why are we obsessed with anything? because they're cool. And while they may not be cool for everyone, they are cool to you. At the end of the day, our differences, our interests make us interesting, right? If we were all the same, honestly, it sounds pretty boring to me. And while I can't say that I am a train spotter yet, who knows what the future holds, I do appreciate that some British people just love them. You know, I just, I love that, that they love trains. Does that make sense? I love when people are passionate about stuff that is meaningful to them, even if I don't necessarily get it. I don't like football and I'm not obsessed with trains, but I appreciate the fascination because yeah, 
they're pretty cool. So there you have it. That is my essay as a foreigner living in the UK, why I think British people are obsessed with trains, whether it's history, childhood, nostalgia, engineering, travel, way of life, or just because they're cool. I do think trains play a really important part in British life and in British culture. And who knows, maybe my channel will soon become a train spotting channel. It's possible. If you'd like to watch more videos, which would be totally awesome, why not check out this one where I talk about why British people love Marmite. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.